level since the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Now more than ever, a day does not go by when there isn't a headline about another company, another corporation cutting jobs. Here to tell us how to recession-proof your job is Penelope Trunk. She's the author of The Brazen Careerist, and she's joining us from Madison, Wisconsin. Good to see you again, Penelope. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's start with, with what I think is really interesting advice. A lot of people out there try to be generalists. They want to be everything to everybody in their company, but you say that's not the way to go. Right, because when people are trying to recruit someone to a job, they're looking for someone to fill an exact job description. Mm -hmm. So if you don't peg yourself and as, a, as an exact type of person, you don't fit anything. So in a market where there are tons of jobs and not enough people to fill them, you're great as a, as a generalist. But when there are tons of people applying for each job, to be the best fit, you have to be a specialist. So now's the time to right. kind of retool your resume okay. and make it more specialized. Well, you know, here's an important problem. I was in uh, Detroit recently, and folks there wanted to move for jobs, but they really couldn't because they couldn't sell their houses. Right. What, do you, what do you do about this issue of relocation if you're in an area where prices have gone down and you can't unload your house? Well, I think you just have to reconsider what's a priority to you. I mean, it, you don't really have to relocate in order to get a job that's suitable for you. That's in good each, news. In each city, there's something that's suitable for your personality type. And a lot of times, it's just thinking out of the box and saying, what am I good at? What are my strengths? And there are a lot of industries that each person can go to. Well, let's, so in Detroit, let's talk about some safe job sectors. Let's mm -hmm. talk about some sectors that will offer opportunity for a lot of people no matter what the economy does. What do you what do you suggest? Health care, IT, advertising, and these are all sectors that you can be any type of person and get a job. You don't have to be taking care of old people to be in health care. You can be an IT professional and go to health care. Huh. It, there are tons of opportunities in sectors that are booming, and you just have to kind of think about yourself as a versatile person, and you're more likely to be versatile. Now, you know, Sometimes people get laid off, right? And you, you should try to position yourself if you know what's coming. It's not your fault. Look, they're downsizing. They're going to get rid right. of people. Maybe they're getting rid of your position. You say you've got to think through that ahead of time. What do you do? You take the time right now, instead of panicking and like packing up your desk, take the time to get on a good project that you can put on your resume. Because you're really only good as the resume you're going out with when you get laid off, and now's the time to be a superstar in one area. Even if you have to do something outside your job description, everyone would love you to do extra work. So do it now to put something good on your resume. I love that idea. And for young people out there who maybe they're really worried about the job market, you say always, always, always have a mentor. Yeah, and when you're deciding, is this a good job or a bad job and should I hold off, especially in a market that's looking like a recession, look for the mentor. You don't have to have an amazing job. You can have an amazing mentor, and you'll get amazing things from that job. Well, I loved that interview. Penelope, thank you so much for the great advice. We appreciate Thanks. it.